so this is a case of a drug defaulter uh, patient uh, she had uh, stenting to the lcx and the led um, maybe about one and a half years ago uh, for anterior wall mi and uh, the patient uh, had stopped the medication after three or four months and has presented again now uh, with uh, chest discomfort of uh, Three to uh, three to two to three months duration uh, that increased on uh, exertion. Uh, the LCS is also uh, receiving some supply from the RCA, and I think we have an injection for that. Anyways, uh, so as you can see, there's a good diffuse ISR here. Uh, there's a tight ISR here with. Anyways, because of the LCX collaterals uh, uh, from the RCA also, uh, we are going to go from the LED first and we are pre-dilating it. Uh, this is a 2.5 mm uh, balloon. You can see a very under expansion here. But anyways, so we are going to do it again. Uh, this was done under Aishman scheme. So this is it's a special scheme of the uh, government where uh, patients uh, can take benefit with the free treatment and then so we bring the stent across and uh, we have inflated the stent as you can see uh, the previous stent was about 3 by 36 mm as far as I remember uh, I'll have to check again so this is a 3 mm uh, 36 mm 32 mm stent We seeing good flow in the distal segment. I will putting another stent uh, right here, and it is almost crossing towards the distal left vein. Anyway, so we have expanded the stent there, and also uh, I don't know we have taken and we have also uh, what is saying <coughs> uh, post-dilated the overlapping segment also the stent and now we are doing some aggressive post dilatation and again, again post dilatations you see some contained rupture uh, perforation here if you can appreciate that it did an eco and uh, and uh, it was not increasing the patient was also hemodynamically stable so we went ahead with the LCX and you can see that the perforation is still existing but it is contained now uh, through some uh, reason whatsoever. anyways so uh, with the LCX also we cleaned it out and uh, yes putting a stent across wonderful and the <coughs> uh, in the meanwhile we've also done some echoes of the patient uh, during the cat study and the uh, there is no pericardial diffusion and so uh, the patient was also all right for two days we did some or four ecos and uh, for the first day we did three ecos and the uh, there was no pericardial effusion and here also the it was non-increasing anyway so this is the artery that we received and uh, this is the final artery that we've made i think it is a wonderful wonderful job that we've done patient is also very um, was also very comfortable and we will just start she was just start um, after two days and you can see this was the first image and uh, this is the final result good flowing arteries complex angioplasties and done thank you